Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mary Margaret and I'm so excited that you clicked on today's video because today is going to be a Positano Italy video. We just got in last night and kind of threw all of our stuff down, showered and went straight to bed. So we didn't get to see much of our view until we just woke up. Look at how beautiful the balcony looks right over the water. So there's a ton of boats all in front of us and then the actual like Positano coast that's like super iconic from all the photos is right over there i think everything's like a 10 to 15 minute walk which is going to be super nice for like dinners and stuff so i think we're just going to unpack get the morning started probably go find like a coffee shop or breakfast area and then get ready for the day i know the boys have a little bit of work to do this afternoon but me and brinley might go walk around and shop definitely want to make it down to the beach later today so i'll obviously take you guys along for this week if you haven't watched my grease vlog that was the last video we stayed in crete for a week and it was so much fun it was definitely a different vibe than this area so i'll go ahead and link that video up here in one of these corners if you guys want to go and check that one out too Here is a quick little overview of our Airbnb. It's pretty small, but we have the kitchen and dining area right here. And then back this way is me and Noah's bathroom. We've got a laundry room back there. And then our room is right here. Noah's still in bed, but I went ahead and unpacked as much as I could into here. So I have like a few bottoms, I've got all my tops. And then I hung up most of my dresses and sat a few other items down here. I'm wearing these cute little PJs from Grey Bandit. I think by the time you guys are watching this, it's already launched. They came out with a ton of new cute PJ options. So this is the little set that I'm wearing right now. It's like a blue floral print. It's so soft and stretchy. And I also paired it with the matching little shorts if they can fit. They have a little frill at the bottom, which is super cute. And I believe I did size small top and small bottom and I have a discount code for them it's just my name Mary Margaret so if you want to go check it out I will have these linked down below I just went and picked up a little watermelon from a local market but we're still gonna go and find a better breakfast place we found a really good like acai bowl smoothie bowl spot and it's only a 10 minute walk so I think we're all gonna go head there in a second to CB Positano and I got this little maxi dress and Brinley did a mini. They're both these blue like floral print work patterns. They're so cute. I've literally had this store on my Pinterest for like three years. I see everyone posts about it on TikTok and the store was even better in person honestly and there was two locations yeah. like right down the road from each other. So if you're coming to Amalfi and Positano, definitely go check it Wait, out. Wait, can I show my face now? Oh yes. We've got one, yes. two, so cute. Three. And four. And they're reversible. So. <laughs> yeah, they are. They have a pattern they on the back. Look. So Love beautiful. It. I think I'm gonna do two bikinis for today. We're about to head down to a little beach access. So I have the thin striped in bandeau with the bottoms. And then I also have this like funky print. It's so fun. We have it in cream and then same thing, but in a navy version and Brinley is going to wear that one. So we're going to do a little matching moment. And then I'm going to bring this one to change into for tanning. Here is the bikini on. It's so cute. I think this one comes in triangle and maybe bandeau. There's a few different top style options. And then I threw on this chunky bracelet from Cezanne. And then for the cover up, I'm just doing the little white mini linen skirt from Free People. This has come in handy so much. I feel like I've worn it a few times since we've been here and in Greece. 
Um, but I had tried getting the micro linen mini skirt that was like trending on free people and that one was way too short at least for me and then I ended up finding this one and I feel like the length is a lot better. Um, there's no built-in shorts on this one but it's still super cute and like comfy so I'll go ahead and link this one down in the description. We are back from our beach day and I just got out the shower and got dressed. I'm wearing this little set from Savo skirt. It is so cute. It's my first time wearing it. But the sun just went behind the mountains. It actually sets on the other side. So around this time it gets a little bit darker even though it technically doesn't set till like 8.30. Um, but we're just all hanging out, getting ready for dinner and I think we're just gonna go walk around until we find a good spot. We haven't made any dinner reservations so we're just crossing our fingers and hoping that we can find something good along the way but it looks like there's a ton of good restaurants close by so i'm sure we'll end up finding something Last night's dinner was so good. The Italian in me is literally loving every second of it. All the pasta, bread, everything is so good here. We ended up just finding a restaurant last night along our walk down and we seriously got the best seat. They sat us right on the balcony with like a spot that overlooked the coast. So it was so beautiful. After dinner, we walked down and got some ice cream, some gelato and the little like lemon sorbet. If you've been to like the south of France or here in Italy, I feel like it's just like a traditional little lemon ice cream dessert and it's seriously so good i'm probably gonna get one every single day just woke up and i actually threw on this l space one piece bikini because i need to go shoot some ugc for them and while we're down there we're also gonna snap a few like camera photos in honey obviously because right now i think it's like 7 30 a.m maybe like close to 8 a.m by the time we get down there and the sun just hit the beach so it's sunny down there and it's not gonna be super crowded like it was yesterday during the day so we're gonna go and snap a few photos before it gets super packed down there and then i think for the rest of the day i think we're doing like a little trail walk along the coast um it might be called like path of the gods or something i had a few people recommend it so i think that's going to be the plan for today i'm sure we'll end up getting lunch or something along the way and yeah, i'll just take it along for whatever else we get up to been good at updating you today. I haven't really talked that much at all, honestly. After we did our ocean dunk this morning, we went and got breakfast. And then when we came back here, we all kind of like took a little break. And then Brindley and Lucas went and did a hike. Me and Noah ended up staying back. And we just went down and had a very relaxing day, laid out at the beach and soaked up a bunch of sun. We ordered pizza again and just like laid out, which was so nice. It's now been a few hours. The sun just went behind the mountain and we're all getting ready for dinner. The boys just hopped in the shower. Me and Brindley are about to start doing makeup. So I just came out to sit on the balcony and touch up my makeup a little bit. This is the beautiful view. It will seriously never get old. I'm not gonna do too much because I did get some sun today and I don't like wearing a lot of makeup when I'm sunburned. Um, so we're just touching up a little bit. I did like some blush and then I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer as well. I wanna take some flash photos with the G7X tonight because 
once the sun goes down, it's kind of hard to take good pictures when there's no more like direct sunlight. Um, so the restaurant we're going to, I think, is down by the water and we're gonna attempt to take some cute pictures tonight. So fingers crossed we get some good ones. I was out here filming a video earlier and I dropped my Say Beauty bottle and look at what happened. It literally shattered the bottom. Thank goodness it didn't get to the actual product part. So it's just like the actual bottle that broke off, but it was so scary. There was like glass everywhere. Um, thankfully it didn't fully break the bottle though. I would have been so sad because I just opened this. It was like my second time using it. Like, can we do a transition? It can be me and Bradley, and then you do like that, and then we like, swipe it into the void. Wait, that's perfect. You're gonna go here, love, and you're gonna This dress is from Beginning Boutique. I'm pretty sure they still sell it, so I'll go ahead and link it down below. But it's like butter yellow, and then I'm wearing my orange Princess Polly purse. But I feel like I'll need to see the back because that's the best part. Yeah. I'm obsessed. Yeah. It's a little bit humid out here, so my camera keeps fogging, but today we're doing a boat ride around the Amalfi Coast. We ended up not doing a boat day in Greece, so I'm super excited that we get to do one here. We are working with Get My Boat to just cruise around the Amalfi Coast, so it's gonna be a super fun day. I don't really know what we have in store, but I'm assuming the captain has a ton of good spots lined up for us today, so I'll take you guys along and show y'all everywhere that we end up going. I'm starting off in this ribbed striped bikini, and then I have a few other bikini changes while we're out and about. I think we're gonna stop at a few different places and like jump out and snorkel and stuff. So hopefully I'll also have some GoPro footage to include as well. are back from our boat day and you guys that was literally the most fun thing i think i mentioned it earlier but we went through get my boat i will have their details down in the description if you guys want to go and book because i'm not kidding when i say boat days are literally our favorite day of every trip everyone had so much fun just laying in the sun he had snacks he had drinks and he took us to a few different spots the first one we just like dived in swim around for a little bit and then second he took us to these caves that you can like pull the boat up to we couldn't bring it fully in because the water was pretty high but he did let us jump out and snorkel around a bit which was really really cool to see so hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of the gopro footage and then he took us to a second spot where we were able to climb up these this like rock arch and jump down swim around there for a bit as well so we had so much fun just like snorkeling and doing all of that 
And then for the last stretch of the boat ride, he actually took us to this little restaurant that we had to like dinghy into. And everything was so good. Me and Noah did fresh prawns and all of the seafood has been amazing here. But we're back at the house now. We came back and just honestly like all laid out on the couch and rotted because we were so exhausted from being in the sun. And I can't even tell if I'm like actually getting more tan or if I've maxed out because I feel like I'm not getting any more tan than like when we first got here. But maybe Maybe you guys can tell a difference. I know we did get a little bit sunburnt today, but it was so much fun and we just got dressed for dinner. I'm wearing this little dress from Sabo Skirt. You guys, look at the back. I feel like 70% of the outfits that I'm wearing here all have an open back. I didn't even like intend for that to happen. I just gravitate towards clothes that have an open back. And every time I get ready, I'm like, oh, another open back moment, but it's okay. I love that. And I feel like it just makes sense here, but I'll go ahead and link this dress down below. I don't think I have a discount code. And then for my purse, I'm just using this little plain one from Pretty Little Thing. And tomorrow we're actually taking a ferry over to Capri. Me and Brindley were just talking saying that we need to like do a little bit more research and see if it's the same vibe as Saint-Tropez in the south of France or if it's going to be different. Um, so we kind of need to come up with a little itinerary because I think we're there for like seven hours. So I'm sure we'll find like a beach club, at least go swim, walk around, do some shopping, get lunch. So I'll keep you guys updated on what we do then. But for tonight, we're just doing a very, very casual dinner because we're all so exhausted. We found one sushi place nearby besides like everything else is pretty much all Italian here, which obviously we're loving but we did want to just switch it up for one night so we're gonna go down find this little sushi restaurant all the reviews and photos looked amazing so i'll let you guys know how that is and then i'll obviously fill you guys in tomorrow once we're heading over to capri are about to head over to catch the ferry to Capri. I'm wearing this cute little denim outfit from Princess Polly. They technically don't match. The top and the skirt don't go together, but that's what we're wearing today. And I have a few bikinis packed. We're gonna do an outfit change, probably do like a beach day, grab lunch, walk around and shop. But that's pretty much the plan for today. We only have one more day tomorrow and it's seriously flying by so fast. I'm so sad. Vlogging in public literally never gets easier. chairlift in Capri and you can take it down from the bottom and it brings you all the way up to the top of the mountain where there's a restaurant and a bar you can get like waters and ice cream and stuff but we're currently on our way back down and I think the plan for the rest of our time here is to go and find a beach to swim in because we are all so hot we have like six more hours here so we'll probably go find a beach and then probably grab a lunch after like a late lunch and then I'm thinking we're gonna do dinner once we get back into Positano later tonight. So I did pack another outfit for dinner later, but I'm sure we'll all be exhausted. So it'll probably just be like a very chill dinner, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Grimley's behind me and Noah's in front of me.
I was not the best vlogger yesterday. I feel like I barely talked to my camera, but it's now the next morning and it's actually our last official day here. And I am so sad. I feel like this trip has gone by so fast, but we've also done so much while we've been here. The plan for today is to actually go and rent mopeds. We meant to do this last summer when we were in Europe. And I think like when we were in Costa Rica or somewhere else and we never ended up doing it. So we made it a point to actually do it on this trip. So that's what we're going to do it this morning we're just gonna like ride along the amalfi coast probably hit a few different little surrounding areas and hopefully ride around for like an hour or so and then we'll probably come back do a little quick change and head to a beach club for our last day here thankfully we've had blue skies every single day so it's been really nice weather and we definitely want to take advantage of it for our last day here so it'll be pretty chill we also have to pack our room is a disaster so we'll do that at some point and then have one last dinner later tonight but i wanted to just pick up my camera because i know i didn't talk up a lot at all yesterday my outfit for today is this little top from princess polly there's actually a matching skirt that I had on earlier for a photo but it is a little bit big so I switched it for just like my denim shorts and then since we're doing mopeds I put on my converse that I have like closed toe shoes and I'm pretty sure they're gonna make us wear helmets just because the streets are like super windy and everyone drives really really fast so I put my hair in a little braid to keep it out of my face because it will for sure be going crazy while we're driving around but that's kind of the plan for today I feel like my face has gotten so much sun it looks really tan on camera and that makes me happy <laughs> but that's it for right now we're gonna go ahead grab mopeds and i'll try and vlog as much as i can i'm only gonna bring my phone i'm not even gonna like attempt to have my camera on there off the Vespas and we're going to a little beach. I don't know the name of it, but we just rode the Vespas down, parked, and that's where we're heading. about to head to dinner and I did a little outfit change this dress is from Princess Polly and I think my code should still be active it's MMC I'll have all the links for stuff in the description but we're gonna go eat for our last dinner here I think we're doing Mediterranean to switch it up from all of like the Italian food we've been eating so I'm super excited to see what restaurant we have in store, Renly found a good it's rec. Restaurant Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Yeah, <laughs> the pictures looked really good online. So I'll show you guys what we end up getting once we're there. But I kind of finished packing up all of my stuff because once we get back, we're only gonna have a few hours until we have to leave for the airport. We have all of our stuff in here and then I just have a few extra like outfits in there for the airport and our overnight stay in New York. And then we'll be on our way home. but I wanted to just finish off the vlog because I feel like I didn't talk as much as I normally do in my vlogs, but we were just so go, go, go every day. So I didn't have a lot of time to like sit down and chit chat with y'all, but we made it to New York. We fly home tomorrow morning. We just have one layover night here. So we just got to our hotel and the very first thing is Uber Eats some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so good oh my gosh i missed a nice cold drink but last night noah actually got food poisoning like two hours before we had to leave for the airport i think i slept for a total of an hour and a half and then noah slept for maybe 30 minutes 
Um, so he was not well. We were like considering staying in Naples for the night, rebooking flights and like flying out the next day, but Noah was somehow able to get it together. And I think he got everything out of his system like right before we had to leave. So I'm just really I'm so, so, so thankful because it really would have been not a fun situation if we had to stay behind and like rebook everything. Um, but we're here, he's feeling so much better now. And I just wanted to end off the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If y'all are going to Positano anytime soon or like Amalfi Coast, comment down below and let me know. I'm so excited for y'all, you guys. This was seriously such a dream trip. It was even better in person. The weather was amazing. The locations were dreamy. It was actually like straight out of a movie scene. So I'm so jealous to anyone who's going because I already want to go back. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Comment down below and definitely subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>